Hey everybody, I'm back. I don't know what happened. My phone froze up while we were doing the broadcast. So join join me, join me, join me. Please share. I'm so sorry. Um Becoming One Ministries or my husband Troy is is on here with me. I'm uh, if he could All right. So here we go. The law of connection. The the law of connection states that you must touch a heart before you touch a hand. We must touch their heart before they touch their hand. And what I was sharing previously was when, when you're going into an organization, it's important that we do the homework to know how to connect with them. For instance, if I'm going in and speak with a group of women or a group of single moms, a group of people that have been abused or whatever their background is, it's my responsibility to... Um, Find out that information ahead of time and then within the first three to five minutes, I am connecting with them because I'm sharing that part of my life with them or I, I, I figured out a way to connect with them and the connection is intentional. So the law of connection um, says that the heart comes first. You must connect on an emotional level or we, ha we must connect with people on a very emotional level. And in order to do that, the first thing we have to do is connect with ourselves. And can you say, this is where we froze up the last time. Can you say these four things about yourself? I am worthy. I am capable. I am deserving. And I trust myself. Do you believe that you're worthy, capable, deserving? And do you trust yourself? Because you have to believe those things about yourself before you can, can connect with somebody else and convince them that you believe it about them. So please share the broadcast so we can stay connected with others. So listen, we have, the, and those four connecting statements are from Kevin Hall. He says those are four belief statements that we have to have. We must believe that we're worthy. We must believe that we're capable. We must believe that we're deserving. We must believe that we trust ourselves. Now, this is not um, getting things out of balance, particularly for the believers. This does not mean that you don't trust God and have faith and things of that nature. But when you're moving forward in business. We must trust our own judgment. You must believe that you're capable of, of, of connecting with people from all backgrounds, from all lifestyles. You must believe that you are worthy to have a successful business, to have um, a successful ministry, to be successful as you are, are elevated in your company and in your organization. We must touch a heart first. Think of these things, right? So my T-shirt that one of my clients bought, it says, I have a dream. And on the, at the bottom in, in silver, it says, what's yours? And it comes from the King Center. And Miss Lou, thank you so much for my shirt. Because when I saw my shirt, it inspired me to share about a dream. And how do we go about getting our dream off the ground? Well, we have to connect with people. There is no shortcut. Every relationship that we're making is gonna it can be tied back to our dream. Every relationship that you're building, whether it's personal, whether it's spiritual, whether it's um, a, a business relationship, you'll need all of those contacts. We need all of those contacts in order for our dream to become reality. Because you need people from all backgrounds and from all walks of life to believe in what it is that God has given you, your purpose, your purpose. Again, I encourage you to take notes. The plan, listen at this, the plan on how you achieve your dream, the definition for that is it's the executed combination of purpose and passion. Take your purpose and your passion and when you begin to execute it, when you begin to act on it, that is your plan. And you have to have that plan in place in order to achieve the dream. Think about that. Otherwise, it's just a good idea. But if, if, if God has identified your purpose or your dream, you take that purpose, you move in passion, and you begin to move towards that dream. Take step one. Take step one. When you begin to take step one, other doors open. Even before you begin to move while you're in your planning phase, that those are steps that you're taking. That planning phase is just as important because you as the leader, you have to count the cost in the beginning. You have to see who it is that you need on your team. You have to put together <clears throat> your plan, which is your purpose and your passion. Listen at this. It says true success is living our purpose with passion through a plan. True success is living our purpose with 
passion through a plan. All of these things go together. It gives our life meaning. So we're not just, we're not just going through life and letting the day just happen. Whatever happens, happen. No, our days are very intentional. Everything we do is intentional. Every relationship we build is intentional because you never know when you need those connections, when you need those contacts. Communicate with openness and sincerity. If you want to connect with somebody, be honest with them. People can spot a fake a mile away. Be authentic. Be the authentic you when you speak, when you connect with people. Pause. Give them your undivided attention. Put your phone down for a minute. Look them in their eyes. Y'all know these are things that they used to teach us when we were younger, but these these things are not being taught anymore. Sh look, teach Teach, shake somebody's hand, look them in their eye, and give them your undivided attention. Use your, uh, know your audience, which is what we were talking about earlier. Know their, their um, needs so that within the first three to five minutes, they can know, like, and trust you. Why should I listen to you? And so that, those are the things that they're asking. Why should I listen to you? You don't, you don't know my um, struggle. You haven't struggled like I struggled. And if you did come from a place where God has moved you through some, through some seasons and you came from struggle and now you're standing strong, people need to know that, that, that you can connect with them, that you can understand that I've been there, I've done that, but there is more for you and they need to hear you say it. Don't be ashamed of the testimony. Don't be ashamed of what you've come through and what you've overcome because those are tools that you can use to connect with your audience back to being authentic. You don't have to make up stories. Just be you and be true to yourself and be true to those people that you're trying to connect with. Live your message. Live your message. If you if you got a drug free message, remember uh, I was it was it back in the eighties when it was just say no to drugs. Well, you can't be the spokesperson for just say no to drugs if you're struggling with drugs. You know what I'm saying? So you have to live your message. You have to go where the people are. You got to be able to connect with them on their level. Get out of the house. Get out of the business and go and see the people. Shake their hands. Look in their eyes. Encourage them. Motivate them. Focus on them, not you. When you're having meetings with people and you're trying to build relationships, you're trying to connect with them because they may have something to bring to the table to add to your dream. Focus on them. Ask a couple questions and let them talk. Find out what their needs are, what their likes are. Make them priority. Believe in them. Believe that what they bring to the table is what you need. Allow people to work in their giftings. Allow them to work in their purpose because that's where they will bring a different level of passion to your dream. And also offer direction and hope. So if you want to connect with somebody, when you're connecting on your job, you're connecting in ministry, you're connecting in your business with your clients, these are just tips that you can use to connect be sure to communicate. Be sure to be authentic. Be sure to put them first. Let them know that their thoughts and their needs are priority. I hope this has helped you. Listen, we're having a vision retreat coming up soon and a couple of other things. Also, if you if you want more teachings like this, I'd love to have you as a part of our Inner Circle Network where there's a group of us and all we do is motivate each other, encourage each other, and hold each other accountable so that our businesses can grow so that our ministries can grow. And there are some that are preparing for promotion within their industry and on their jobs. So the Inner Circle Network may be a great fit for you. Find us online at CarmelaWilliams.com. Somebody type that in for me before we leave. CarmelaWilliams.com. Join us online. I'd love to see you um, at one of our events or uh, at the Vision Retreat or as a part of the Inner Circle Network because I know that you have insight and I know that you are valuable and I know that there are things that you can bring to the table uh, to add to this network. What makes this network rich is not just what I bring. What makes this network rich is the collective efforts of everyone on the team. We have authors in the network. We have educators in the network. We have those that are starting uh, mentoring programs and um, uh, bigger programs. I can't even let them out yet because what they're doing is they're still in their planning phases. But there's those that are starting um, women ministries, evangelistic opportunities, preparing for promotion on their jobs, um, speak, building speeches and coaching careers. All of these collective efforts are, are together. We need uh, photographers in this network because we're sharing 
we're sharing. We're all a professionals, right? So we're all needing headshots. And so we're, we're sharing out. But what would be cool is if we had a photographer right in the network. We need, um, what, do you, what do you call those people that, um, we need somebody that, that has a marketing business that, that can design our flyers and our book covers and things of those nature. We need you in the Inner Circle Network because we're outsourcing those things. So this network is rich because you're a part of it. So find us online, CarmelaWilliams.com, click Inner Circle Network, and you'll find all that information there. You can join at any time and have immediate access. We have a, a private Facebook group, and we have monthly calls. I'm here for you, and I'm here so that you can be successful. Be sure to connect with your team. Be sure to connect with those people that God has assigned you to. Have a great day.